Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you guys how to install a end cap kit quick and easy. A lot of people who have never done this before will be very scared. I'm going to assure you guys, don't be scared. This is easy. It's simple. Uh, you don't got to pay hundreds of dollars for somebody to come here and do this. All right. What you're going to need is a heat gun. And what you're going to do is take this end cap kit that I've already glued on, as you can see, is heat it on the inside. What I did is heat half of it, push on it with this soft cloth right here like on my sleeve and just held it in place i did half of it i knew it was lined up and then i waited for it to dry then i came back and i did the other side next thing you're going to need is a router and as you can see this bit this is the most important thing this is what that does all the work for you you don't have to sit here and panic like you can't do it there is a bearing here on this router bit and it's flush with this piece right here that's the most important thing that's the way you cut it so as you can see when I turn around here, and I got one hands, and I'd love to show you guys how this is done, and I'll see what I could do. But you take your router bit, and when that's flush with that, it just grinds right away, and that's what we're gonna do. Let me try to record this with my hands. A little bit of sanding will take care of that. Just it's just excess pieces of it. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Your finishing touches, guys. See that little bit of a uh, chip? Not chipping. What do you call it? Glue. It's glue. I'm just sand these up. A little bit more glue there. Sometimes you need to use your finger to actually get it off. It's some really tough glue right there. You see that just scratching right out. But that's it. it. Feels nice and smooth like it's from the factory. So again, thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up.